Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today I'll show you how to export product data, edit it in the CSV file, and import it back. Let's begin! CSV files are perfect for large scale editing operations. They can be created and edited in the third party applications that support this format, like Google Spreadsheets, Microsoft Office Excel, and others. In CS Card, there are two ways to export product data. A straightforward way lies through the Export Data page of the Administration section. This way you will export all products at once. A more selected way lies within the Products section. Select products that need to be exported, click the gear button and choose Export Selected. You will be taken to the Product Export page. On this page, we specify all details related to the CSV file. The content of an export file are controlled by two list boxes. Exported fields – the fields that will be included into the export file. Available fields – the fields that you can add to the export file. Product code and language fields are required and cannot be removed. Use arrows to change positions of fields and move them between boxes. Let's set up our own list of fields. First, we clear default fields. Second, we select fields we need to export. Third, we can save this list as a separate layout. We just enter the name of layout into the Save Layout as field and click Save. Then we will be able to select this layout in the Layout drop-down list. Moving to Export Options. Select languages if you need to edit products in different languages. Specify the rest of the settings. Almost all of them have tooltips, so it won't be a problem to fill them out. Make up a file name for your new export or leave the default one and click Export. The file will be downloaded to your computer. Also, it will appear at the Exported Files page, so you can download your files there anytime. Now it's time to edit the exported products. Open the CSV file with one of the applications mentioned. There are multiple things you can do with product data in a CSV file. We are going to list only the most important ones. First, you can change product values including names, prices, quantity, and so on. Second, you can sort the products. For example, products can be sorted out by highest quantity or by highest price. Third, use the status field to activate or deactivate products. Drag the frame to change all values in the column at once. This is actually one of the reasons why CSV files are perfect for large-scale editing. Fourth, apply a formula to calculate prices automatically. For instance, you have supplier prices, you need to turn them into your own prices with profit included. Instead of entering new prices manually one by one, we simply apply the formula and drag it to empty boxes. New prices are set automatically in a correct way. Next, place disabled or out-of-stock products into a separate category to deal with them later. For example, we will place products with zero quantity to a category named Restock. This category will be created in the store automatically after we upload the CSV file. After making edits, we can upload our CSV file back to the store. We go to Administration, Import Data, Products. Scroll down and click Local to select a file from a computer. We choose our file and then click Import. After the process is finished, we can see a short report on product changes. Some of the products were updated. To check the changes, we go to Products, Products. Here, we find that some products were disabled, some of them were moved to other categories, and those with zero quantity were placed in the restock category. By the way, this category has appeared on the General Categories page, and that's how CSV export and import works. There are many other things you can do with CSV files, so in this video we covered only the most important actions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCart videos!